missed the last 40 games of the year last year with a foot injury, sprains his ankle before the game. Yeah, that, you know, that way he sprained it, you know, one of the guys was standing under the basket. Now, this is a better Washington team than they had last year, Chris. Uh, Pacers, I believe the Pacers can beat them, but it's a better team in terms of their talent, the depth. That's Bradley Beal. That's an all-NBA player who knocked down that shot, and you've got to get to him and make him put it on the floor. Tyrese Halliburton answers with a three. Shot 42% a year ago. Bradley Beal last year played just one game against Indiana. Halliburton turned it over. He was trapped. Monte Morris lays it in. If, if you jump in the air, you're susceptible. 10-3, to three, six straight points now for Washington. Pacers down to eight on the shot clock. This, this is a tough matchup. Yeah, he had to shoot it. Fortunately, he made it. One of 18 left. They've, They've got, got a 2-1. Two two one. One. Yep. Yeah. And he missed it. Rebounded by Heal. Okay, smart play by Buddy. Get it into the right hand. Not only by Ken Halliburton make the shot, he can make the better play. So the Pacers, all three baskets are from three-point range. All seven attempts from three-point range. Four minutes gone by here in the opening quarter. Here's a three, and it's good. And being solid defensively, and then blocking out. Bradley, Bradley Beal played just 40 games last year. He finds Kuzma and hits another three. Pacers down 18-9. to nine. Halliburton, tough shot, but got it. Oh, he is. He's got eight of Indiana's first 11 points. He's really been the offense here. But you can't fall asleep there. That's a... With a jab and, 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 and go in a direction, jab and change direction, is really good. He attacks right away and scores over Porzingis. The right plays bigger. I mean, he's about 6'4", Chris. He, he plays bigger than you think he does. And Beal, the strong drive. Yeah, and, and beat Jackson off the drive. But that's a tough call. They've had a struggle deciphering this Washington defense. Matherin. Sure. Ooh. Sort of the, the other side of the rim. I thought it was short too, Quinn. Gafford sets the screen. Wright gets there. Put it up. No good. Rebound tip. Gafford the offensive rebound and throws it down. He started 50. And they weren't close to this. Now, Gill didn't play a lot, but they obviously have a great deal of confidence in him. But I'm, as I said, this second unit is just better. Back-to-back -back threes by Benedict Matherin. Indiana's leading scorer in the preseason. He and Halliburton each have 10. Five seconds to play. Barton, three. Step back, Barton. Got it at the buzzer. Challenged, but he just made it. Jackson challenged him. That's, he, he made it. More interested in guarding the ball than they have ever been. TJ, get away. Boy, he looked at his hand. That slipped out. He uh, overshot it. If Taylor's on the floor, he's going to get some offensive rebounds. Connell bobbled it. Now healed. Resets and splashes his second three. Ten-point Washington lead. Halliburton, Heald, Bataze, Neesmith, and Taylor. Right there. Yeah, you get there, you got to shoot it. Uh, he can look back. Neesmith has been in and been part of why the Pacers have still been effective. I like it. Decisions are quicker. That, that's been a big part of it. You know, I said this in the preseason game. And that's what the Pacers have to do. As close as Indiana has been, they trailed just six. I like what he did. He was trying to get Buddy a, a shot. Here's healed again. Hits from three-point range. He was close. Beal, free throw line. Ooh, ooh. That's where he's made his money, that mid-range. He made it, yeah, but he made an in-and-out move. Pacers three on one. Taylor, left hand. Missed it. Got to get back. Porzingis is there. Hey. Porzingis yeah, got You got to get back. Quinn, many thought that he... Might want to go somewhere else, but he opted to stay in D.C. as Buddy Heald hits. You, you got to like D.C. And he knew he was going to get, wherever he was, he was going to be able to get his money. If that's the issue. They're thinking teams are positioning themselves for him, if you will, when he comes out in the draft. And he's, he will be the first player taken in the draft. Loose ball picked up by Halliburton. He has 14. Turnovers have been an issue for Indiana as Halliburton hits the three. I mean, Halliburton went down, too. Is that... Shot clock is off. Now you got to get open. And Jackson 
Boy, the sea parted. I like it. I see. Yeah, they didn't have the kind of success, but they didn't. I, I didn't think they did a good job of, of breaking the defense down, which I, looks like the Pacers coming out to do right away. I mean, that's what you're yeah. talking about. Did a good job, but that was a really good attack. Well, he, he's big. Hey! Thank goodness he missed it because he's bigger than than Duarte. Kuzma's, I'm telling you, Kuzma's 6'9 and 6'10. Oh, Halliburton throws it down. Oh, no, you, you missed the part. It was the dribble. He took the ball and he spun it like he. Kuzma. Another three for Kyle Kuzma. He's hit three of them. Of the half court line, Pacers have to be alert and talk. Kuzma has 16. Heel shut down at the free throw line. Halliburton goes in, has his second dunk. Very nice job by Terry Taylor. Beal, baseline, nine to shoot. Cross court, hit the rim. Nice job advancing the ball. Taylor just makes a good play. I mean, he may not. So we're getting started, and it's starting in a big way. Very good cover there by Duarte. He kept the ball out of the hands of Beal. Two-man game. Porzingis got it from Beal. Don't let him reverse it to Beal. In the corner, Beal for three. Just said, don't let him reverse it to Beal. Because it gets. Kuzma cutting Hashimura. Blocked by the rim. Not this time. Offensive rebound. Yeah, this, this is a good. Got to get better effort. Guy gets an offensive rebound. Halliburton tiptoed along the baseline. Matherin, head down, basket, up and under. I'm telling you, you called that was great, because that was head down. Now against Brissett. Go left, he'll shoot it. That's what he does, he goes left and he shoots it. That's just no one play. Pacers down 10, approaching the final minute of the third. Gafford, cleared space. I'd say, wow. Pacers down 12. They trailed by eight at the half. McConnell goes inside, scores again. Really good job turning the corner. I like this defensive team that's on the floor. Beal. Gafford. Wow. We talked about Beal. Yeah, man, you got to take that. Well, that wasn't. Madden goes down. I thought Beal moved and pushed him. Hashimura. Well, that's a big play. That's a huge play. Third of the quarter against the Pacers, Hashimura. Well, he is so much more under control than he was last year, Chris. You're not going to beat him. This is too much dribble. You're not going to beat him that much. That's why I said move it. Especially not Terry Taylor. Yeah, you can't, you can't do that. And Gafford throws it down. Ten for Gafford yeah. off the bench. Indiana's made 12, but shooting just 40% from the field. It's been... In the paint where they've struggled, just 13 of 35. Yeah, that's been the real, real issue there. Smith for three. Okay, get a little, a little something going here. Pistons. Halliburton, two more. Heel is guarding. Clock at five on the shot clock. Kuzma got it from Beal, and there's another Bradley Pistons scoring summer league, preseason, regular season. And he's going to chase it down to Washington the rebound and Washington the win.